This video is how to make a remote desktop connection from Windows to an Ubuntu 22.04 machine with sound redirection. Remote desktop is a Microsoft protocol and can be used to connect Windows computers to other computers. This page shows some of the previous titles involving remote desktop connections on this channel. Outcomes, or what you should be able to do after watching this video. Set a virtual box network adapter to bridge connection. This is necessary if you're using virtual machines to make sure that both the Windows and the Ubuntu machine are on the same local network. Download Synergy.be XRDP installer script version 1.4.2. I give a big shout out to Synergy for creating installer scripts to connect Windows to Ubuntu machines. Then I'm going to demonstrate how to install the XRDP script into Ubuntu 22.04, obtain an IP address and reboot, then configure the remote desktop software on the Windows machine and verify that the connection works. And lastly, verify and test sound redirection requirements an Ubuntu 22.04 computer or virtual machine, a Windows 10 or 11 computer or virtual machine, an internet connection, and a local network. The next three slides contain additional sources of info, a list of the software used in making this video, and a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop this video to read the slides. This video does not cover remote desktop across multiple networks. I am using virtual machines to have the Windows client connect to the Ubuntu desktop server using Windows Remote Desktop Protocol. In order to do this, both machines must be on the same network. The easiest way to do this in VirtualBox is to set both virtual machines to use the bridge adapter setting in VirtualBox. If you are using hardware machines on a local network, you could probably ignore this section of the video. In order to do this bridge adapter setting, I would pick my virtual machine, go to Details, and then go to Network, and then enable network adapter and then attach to bridge adapter. Click OK. And I would do the same thing for my Windows 11 machine. So that's it for getting both machines on the same local network. Here I am at the products page of the Synergy website. I will be downloading the free XRDP installation script 1.4.2. Please note that there is a link to a documentation page labeled How To. Also note that there is a disclaimer to use these scripts at your own risk. Personally, I have never had a problem with these scripts where they've damaged a virtual machine or computer I have been using. I've been using these scripts for the past several years and it is always a good business practice to include a disclaimer. Click on Download. One thing I need to point out is there appears to be a bug in Ubuntu Firefox so that when you choose a different download directory other than your home downloads, the download will not occur. So this download is going directly to the downloads directory. And you'll see it's downloaded. And so let's verify that it's there. I'll use a Control alt and t to bring up the command line. I will do a CD download and do an ls, and there it is. And the next step, we'll be installing this script. Okay, first we have to unzip this script in order to be able to use it. To do that, type in unzip, x, tab, and you'll see that it's unzipped. We'll do an ls. Now we have to change the sh file to give it permission to run, and we will do a chmod plus x, x, tab, sh and so now if i do an ls again you'll see that it's turned to a different color in this case it's green so that means it's an executable so let's run it dot slash x and i'm going to use sound redirection so i'm going to do a dash s so i'm going to install it with sound and it's going to go to the internet and pull down some extra modules then i'm going to hit enter and it asks for your password and it's going to take a while for this to happen, and I'll come back when it's fully downloaded. So now it's downloaded. 
Let's read this. It says, installation completed. Please test your XRDP configuration. If sound option selected, shut down your machine completely. Start it again to have sound working as expected. One thing we have to do before we shut it down completely is we need to find out our IP address because we need that to find out where we are on the local network. And to do that is IP ADDR. And you'll notice right here it says 192.168.1.5. One thing you cannot be logged on to your Ubuntu machine when you want a Windows machine to connect to it. So we're going to do a reboot, sudo reboot. This machine will reboot and go to the Windows machine next and set it to connect to 192.168.1.5. Here I am on my Windows 11 machine, and I've also verified that this works with Windows 10, but I'm going to show you how to do it in Windows 11, and I'm pretty sure it'll work with other Windows versions too. So this is on the same local network as the Ubuntu machine, the Ubuntu 22.04 virtual machine, and both of these are virtual machines, but this also works for hardware machines, so there's no problem. It's just easier to make a video when you're using virtual machines. So I'm going to open up Remote Desktop and make the settings here. And here's the Remote Desktop connection. Open it up. Now if you recall, the Ubuntu machine was at 192.168.1.5. And I've got some options I've got to set. Username in this case would be Mike. And let's go to Display. And to make this a little bit clearer, you can make your own settings here. I'm going to go pick one 1921 by 1080. Now, actually, this is off by one pixel here. It should be 1920, but it's kind of hard to set this up inside the regular uh, host computer to get it exact on. And choose the color depth. I'm going to choose true color because I'm running two versions of Windows here, 10 and then 11 in a virtual machine, and also Ubuntu. I just want to kind of cut down on some of the problems that might show up, but you can use whatever you want. Whatever works for you and how fast your network goes. I want to go to Local Resources. I want to unclick Printers, but I am going to click Clipboard. My Ubuntu machine also has its own printer, so that's not necessary here. And I'm going to click More, and I'm going to make sure that Drives is checked. Uh, I'm going to uncheck Smart Cards or Windows Help for Business. I'm going to click OK. Well, there's one thing I forgot. I'm sorry. Let's go back to Display, and I want to make sure that Display the Connection bar when I use the full screen. So now I'm ready to go. I'm going to click Connect. And it will ask if you trust this remote connection. Click Connect again. And basically, I've gone into RegEdit and deleted the certificate just to show you that this will happen the first time that you make a connection. And then click Yes. And now it asks for a password. The username there is Mike, which is the username on the Ubuntu machine. And now I'm going to give, you, give it the password for the Ubuntu machine. Click OK. And it might take a few seconds for the connection to come through. In my case, I think it took about 30 seconds for the connection to come through. Don't get too alarmed with that black screen. That black screen of showing no connection is famous when you're trying to do a remote desktop connection. Usually what I find is that it goes a lot quicker after you've made the connection several times. Let me move this down a little bit just to show you that we've got both machines working. Okay, in the next section I'm going to verify that the uh, sound redirection works. In this section, I'm going to verify that sound redirection works. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to Show Applications and click in Settings. If this is not shown, all you have to do is type in SETT and Settings comes up. Open up Settings and go down to Sound. Now two things you want to see. The output device is XRDP Sync in this case. And the input device is XRDP source. 
So we're going to test that the sound works. Test. And front left. Front left. And then I'm going to check front right. Front right. So sound is working. Sound redirection is working. You can see you've got your bar up here. And that's dependent on making sure that you're in full screen mode. And I can minimize it. I can restore down. Or I can close this. And that will be a way to disconnect the Ubuntu machine. So I'm just going to close this. Your remote session will be disconnected. Click OK. And that's it. So I hope you have some fun with this and get your uh, Ubuntu machine and Windows machine to play nicely. I have a previous video that shows how to use the Ubuntu machine as a client. In this case, the Ubuntu machine is the remote desktop server. Thank you and have a nice day.